Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about solar charging. Specifically what I'm going to be doing is I'm getting ready to do a long solar paneled trip on my e-bike and I want to be able to charge my battery while I'm riding. So I want to go over what components I used, why I use them, and how they all work. If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I'm an e-bike nerd, um, solar panel nerd, motorcycle nerd. If you want to nerd out with me on stuff like that, subscribe if you like this video. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we got a Dokio 100 watt solar panel. It's folding. Um, out of the solar panel, there's a little cord and that goes into the, the charge controller. See, there's an input for the solar panel and then an output that goes into the battery. And then also from the battery, I have an alligator clip that goes from the battery into a inverter, which takes a 12 volt source, and turns it into 110 volts, just like you would have plugged into your cigarette lighter. And then I have my kilowatt device that shows how many watts I'm drawing. You can see I've got about 134. Usually it varies between 132 and 138 watts. And that goes into my e-bike battery charger. You can see the red light is on, so it's getting a solid flow of electrons. And just to summarize, the solar panel gets about 60 to 75 watts, depending on sun directness. Um, I never got it to go above six, 76 watts, but maybe I can. Um, and the inverter pulls 138 watts. So there's about 70 watts of disparity that I'm pulling out of the battery. So I either really need to be really light on the throttle so that I'm not drawing any juice out of the battery and I'm just replenishing it so that I'm, I'm actually not using the inverter and I'm just using that solar panel to charge up that little, that little tiny battery I have. Um, and I also probably am gonna have to get a, a new battery for that. I'm thinking I'm gonna keep my eye out and try to see if I could get a big used deep, cell, deep cycle um, lead acid battery. If there's an RV place up the street, I'm gonna see if I could get one of theirs. So yeah, I'm excited. So hopefully you liked this video, found it interesting. Um, Leave me in comments below if you think you have some tips or pointers uh, or something I missed out. And yeah, thanks for nerding out, y'all. 